close racing supply in Eldred, Pennsylvania has been in business since 1996, serving the motorsports industry with quality parts and components for dirt late models, modifieds, and stock lip race cars. Check out the expanded inventory at their new larger location or give them a call at 814-225-3250. In stock at Close Racing Supply are parts from the most popular manufacturers like All-Star Performance, Wears Machine, Dynamic Drive Lines, Winners Performance, Willwood, Quick Car Racing Products, and many others. They also manufacture their own quality CRS race components. Check out the website at CloseRacingSupply.com or follow them on Facebook. The Havas Auto and Truck Supply Rush Late Models presented by Born to Run Lubricants competing in a Flynn's Tire Touring Series event. Ladies and gentlemen, grab your hat, grab your blanket, grab your child and wave them in the air out there as they come by. These drivers can see out there in the lights of the grandstand. Give them a big cheer, ladies and gentlemen. They came from Ohio, from Canada, from Delaware, from Pennsylvania, from here in the Empire State, all over to come and compete here tonight on a Tuesday night at Woodhall Raceway. As they work their way off turns three and four, coming around for the green flag. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Green is out. And we're underway. Heading into turn number one, the yellow flag immediately coming out as we've got a big wreck here on the front stretch. I was looking in turn number one, didn't see that. And Hauser come out of turn four, green flag is out. Houser drifts up wide. Bryce Davis goes underneath them to take the uh, second spot away. Down the back stretch, Joe Martin getting by Kurt Stebbins to grab third. He muscles his way up there into a show spot. It's Wonderling followed by Davis and Martin as the cars work their way through turn number four. Down the back stretch, they race into turn number three. Wonderling holds on to the number one spot. It's still Davis in second. Followed by Martin in third, and then it's Hauser, Stebbins, Austin Allen, Cody Dawson. To the top of the track goes Kurt Stebbins. But Stebbins... <laughs> Stebbins, and the yellow flag comes out as two cars have come together up in turn number one. Looks like the C2, 2C I mean of Zach Carley and the 4R of Ricky Lauks. And four, green flag is back out. As they race their way out of turn number two, Davis is all over the back end of Wonderling. Davis looking inside as Wonderling pulls away. Martin has lost a little bit of sight of Davis out there. Hauser holds on to fourth over Stebbins. middle of the pack. Brock Picker is trying to make the outside work. Wasn't working for him. And one tar in trouble. Yellow flag is out for Joe Layfield here on the front stretch. Not sure what happened to Joe, but he comes to us. And uh, let's see Chad Ullman, Brian Knowles, Joe Logan Jaquay, and Mike Wonderling round out your top ten. Green flag is out. And everyone racing their way down the front stretch into turn number one. As Wonderling continues to pace the field over Davis. Joe Martin sitting back there in third, followed by Austin Hauser and Stebbins in a nice battle for the number four spot. Stebbins down to the inside. Works his way through three and four. Coming through the dust off turn number four. Looks like Stebbins is still side by side with Hauser. They go into the corner number one. Stebbins has to give up a little bit. He slid sideways. Austin Allen is right there trying to find racing room. Stebbins and Hauser make some contact. Hauser's keeping his ground as they work off at of turn four. Hauser holds on to that number four spot over Stebbins. Wonderling's going to start closing in on Louts for a lap car. 
Down into turn number two. He got another nice battle on the speedway. Wonderling getting around Jaquay. Whoa, Knowles and Pinkeris almost making heavy contact out there. Coming off of turn number two. As Jason tries to catch back up to Brock, Brock disappears from him out there. Meanwhile, out front, yellow flag is back out. We got trouble on the speedway. Coming off of turn number four, I believe. Well, Knowles and Pinkeris are getting into it again on the speedway. I think they're going to do something about that from the race director's viewpoint. I'm not quite sure. The yellow flag came out. Green flag, that is. Green is out. And we're back underway. As they head down the back stretch and into turn number one, or three that is, Wonderling is your leader, followed by Davis, Martin, look out, Hauser got sideways here in front of Stebbins, but he holds on to it. As they work their way into turn number one, Stebbins now to the way outside, and Austin Allen gets underneath Stebbins to get into the top five. Austin Allen. Into the top five with car number 32. Now Stebbins all over the back end of Allen. He tried to find a room up to the outside. It wasn't going to work as they head their way into turn number two and down the back stretch. Wonderling coming off of turn number four here with 12 laps complete. Davis is still in second, followed by Martin. Hauser in third, Allen in fourth, Stebbins in fifth. Or sixth, that is. So it's Wonderling, Davis, Martin, Hauser, Allen, Stebbins, and Holman. Pinkris going to the way outside up here as they race with Jason Knowles. That race continues between those two drivers who have gotten into it a couple of times here tonight. And they're running back in the number 13 and 14 spots. Jeremy Wonderling has Bryce Davis all over him going down the front stretch with 15 laps complete. Davis trying to stay with Wonderling, waiting for the lap traffic, I think, to come up or waiting for Jeremy to make a mistake. Working off a of turn number four now. Wonderling still has Davis less than a car length behind. As they head into turn number two now, Davis has got a nice bite, but he drifts out wide off a of two. He can't close in on to Wonderling. They work their way off at of turn number four. Wonderling holds on to that number one spot, but watch Davis into one. This is where he's got some advantages off of two. Wonderling opens up ground now. Martin all alone in third, followed by Hauser, Allen, Stebbins, Holman, Brian Knowles, Mike Wonderling, and Logan Jaquay. Back out front across the line. With 18 laps complete. Out of corner number two. And now Knowles and Pinkeris getting into it again here in the front stretch. Knowles crosses the front end of Pinkeris down the back stretch. As they're having a war out there on the speedway, I'm focusing my attention up here to the front. Wonderling entering lap traffic now. He's got the number 99 of Marlott. Marlett right in front of him. Marlett, a four-time winner this year, struggling bad tonight in car number 99. Wonderling's got to figure out a way to get underneath him. As they work their way into turn number one, we're past the halfway point. That was the last lap around. Down the back stretch, Wonderling looking to the inside of Marlatt. There's Bryce Davis hanging on to him as he's got to get by Marlette as well, and he does. Brett's going to give up the ghost and pull off the speedway for the night. Down the back stretch.
as they head down the back stretch. Coming around the turn now. As Wonderling trying to close in on Carly. Carly, the lap car with Davis right there. Here comes Davis looking to the outside as they head into turns one and two. Coming off the turn. Next time by it'll be 15 laps to go down the back stretch. Davis holding on to the tail end of Wonderling. All over the back end of Wonderling, and here comes Joe Martin into the mix as well with car number 10S. Working their way off of turns one and two, down the back stretch again. Hauser Allen all alone in fourth and fifth. This time by, it'll be 27 laps complete for Wonderling. Wonderling goes to the outside of Carly, tries to make a move. Going into turn number two, it works for Wonderling. Davis is going to try the same move to get around the outside of Carly. Coming off the corner now. Carly has been passed by Davis. Davis stays with Wonderly. Not a bumper between them down the back stretch now. Wonderling setting up Jim Racy. Racy slips up wide. Here comes Wonderling underneath the 21J. Racy stays on the lead lap for another moment. Another straightaway as Wonderling works the inside of Davis. Davis makes that inside of Racy as Davis gets inside of Racy now. First and second still tied together. Martin trying to work his way up forward. Checker flag comes out, ending the race for Jeremy Wonderling. He picks up the win. Thirty laps. So the winner, Jeremy Wonderling over Bryce Davis, Joe Martin, Austin Allen finished fourth, and Austin Hauser finished in fifth. We'll head trackside with our trophy for Jeremy Wonderling. And the race distance was cut for safety reasons and ladies and gentlemen picking up the win in the Darwin Davis Memorial it says 4,000 but it's actually going to be 4350 for the eighth time in 2023 let's hear it for Jeremy Wonderling ladies and gentlemen well that was a heck of a battle there with Bryce yeah I mean it was I mean it's definitely starting position meant a lot tonight uh, car was pretty good I just just wanted to make sure I didn't overdrive it in the corner and let somebody get underneath me. And you know, I, I felt some bumps a couple of times. And you know, I just I just wanted to slow down and make sure I didn't leave the bottom. And you know, you get in lap traffic, the, the dust was bad enough to where you, you couldn't really even see the corner getting in there. So I just just tried to slow myself down to make sure that I wouldn't wouldn't let somebody have room on the bottom. Uh, eighth win of the season. I mean, this team is on a roll. Tell us about it. Yeah, this this race car is you know it's something something pretty special and. You know, the thing works really good, and I get a lot of help. And if you know my crew and my family and everybody that comes helps, I mean, uh, Jim Stevens for Penske Shock, you know, he's a good friend and also, you know, that does all my shocks. And Close Racing Supply helped me a lot. I mean, it would be really tough to do it without them guys. And Shuttleworth Auto Sales, Dennis Comes Trucking, you know, Terry Prince Contract, Swiss Springs, uh, Dynamic Drive Lines, Team Head Rush, you know, and every, like I said, everybody that comes and glad all the fans come out on Tuesday night. And winning this race, the Darwin Davis Memorial in honor of the Davis family and such, I mean, it's got to be a big deal for you. It is. I mean, I, you know, obviously it would be probably a lot cooler if Bryce won it, but uh, I did race with Darwin a little bit. I didn't know him that much. You know, I talked to him just a little bit before he passed. So I did, I did race with him back in the 360 days. So, you know, it, it definitely means something. And I do, I, mean, I definitely know who he is. Looking for the trophy. I don't know where it went. Oh, here she comes. Marianne Knowles is going to come over. Marianne? Come on over with the big trophy. We'll get you in here to give the trophy to uh, to Jeremy. Congratulations, and we'll get a nice photograph in here. Thank you, Marianne. Mary Lou, Mary Lou, sorry, Mary Lou. 
And uh, we'll talk here to Bryce Davis. Bryce finished in second. I, you were right there trying to get underneath him and stuff, and it just, oh, it was close. Had a real good car. You know, it's just, it was tough to pass. You didn't want to go out, you know, a lane or two up and, you know, let Joe get underneath you. So I was just being conservative, taking what I got, and uh, just going home happy with it. What does it mean? I mean, this is a big deal for your family here tonight. It is. You know, my whole family's here. Everybody that, most of them haven't been to the races probably in 10, 12 years. But, you know, it was, it was nice. And uh, I, we had a great turnout, and I'm happy with it. And what does it mean to race this event here at Woodhall and getting these rush cars here to Woodhall for your family and the other guys that put this together? Oh, it means a lot. You know, uh, I grew up racing here when I was 13, 14 years old. So I live 10 minutes down the road. Uh, it's, it's nice. I you know, get a good, good car count today. I'm real happy with it. Who would you like to thank? I got my whole crew, um, my dad, my wife, all my kids for, you know, still, still sticking with me doing this. You know, my mom, uh, the whole crew, you know, Austin Allen helps a lot. Mike Wheaton, Lane, Shane, you know, we got a ton of guys behind this that are really good and they've stuck with us for a lot of years. Congratulations, a nice second place run, Bryce. Thank you. Bryce Davis, ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause. And our third place finisher, Joe Martin. Hey. You know, I'm used to usually seeing in a third in the top three, but it's been kind of weak lately, you know? Yeah, we've been struggling lately, but uh, you know, we'll take them anyway and get them anytime you're on the front stretch, it's good. Uh, long night, new track for us. I never even saw the place, so yeah, we're happy with third. Who would you like to thank for the run, Joe? Uh, Tom Snyder and uh, TND Performance, Kevin Martin Trucking, Weather Capital Sales. Got to thank God, man. He, he blesses us so much. Uh, even on a Tuesday night, we're out here racing, so it's cool. Congratulations. A nice third place run will get you back up into some of those points. Yep. Good to see all you fans out here on a Tuesday. Thanks for coming out. There you have it, folks. Let's get Joe in here for a top three shot with Bryce. We'll get a top three shot here. Bryce and Jeremy in there and we've got a non-qualifiers race coming up next. It's going to be a short race for those drivers that uh, competed or were unable to get into the feature event tonight. And before I head upstairs and uh, finish up the night, I want to thank everybody for here at Woodhall uh, on behalf of the Rush Racing Series for having our, our race cars here on a weekly basis.